of the week. All right. This album came out in 1992. Like, I, even though I've seen them on this tour, like, I wasn't really into them that much because in 92, I was kind of already, you know, transitioned over to, like, grunge or alternative or whatever at that point. Um, but then a few years later, I ended up buying this record, and it was so good. We've talked about this a lot. Wild Side, Under the Influence. Yeah. Yeah. Great record, yeah. man. I think it, that... You, no, yeah, go, go ahead. I was going to say, like, I think if they would have came out about three or four years earlier, they would have been as big as Skid Row. Excellent. You are not. That's almost every interview and shit I watch on YouTube, people talking about that band and that album say exactly the same thing. Yes. exactly the same yeah thing. yeah so good man like yeah and um the show i seen at that rosa is on youtube yeah yeah oh i've watched it a few times yeah yeah it's oh man they were so good yeah and that is a good album man another kind of underrated one after yeah i think we all a handful of us brought that up when we did that underrated mm -hmm. episode um dude's vocals are amazing yeah um, and like you said, man, they were, I think they were very Skid Row-ish, but that West Coast Skid Row, if you will. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah they just came album. out the wrong time, man. You know, yeah. like, like I said, like, I I went and seen them at that time, you know, um, I was saying, like, Shaka Messiah and Tor Tor was all coming around during that time, but it was already kind of that John, that scene was already kind of yeah. dying out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, which I, which I still liked all that stuff, but it's like, um, yeah. but like, I remember seeing this, uh, the CD at like a thrift store or something. And I was like, you know, I'll go ahead and get it, you know? And I still have it to this day. It's so good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I still occasionally listen to it actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, we know the, uh, you know, hang on Lucy video. Yeah. Um, uh, I remember the one of the songs I like on it is uh, the Clock Strikes. I think. Yep, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, Lad and Sin is good. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. 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 Songs like the two ballads. I you know you're not big into ballads, but like I like ballads, and both of them is pretty good. But yeah, my favorite yeah, ones is is um, Hang On Lucy, which I think that was the first single. Yeah. And then uh, Clock Strikes, Lad and Sin. But yeah, it's like it's. The whole thing, man. Like, and one of those ballads that they did a video for also, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Shit. Um, I know. It's kind of hard not having love, the songs right in front of us. Yeah. Kisses Love yeah. Goodbye or something like that. I don't think it was that one, but uh, yeah. I, yeah. But back, uh, isn't there even a uh, a Nazareth cover song on that? album no they do a song called hair of the dog but it's not it's not a nazareth one. it's not the same okay well yeah fuck I <laughs> uh, yeah they do have a song called hair of the dog on there. yeah um well that album too was uh this is shit i read about them was i'm pretty sure it was recorded at 5150 which was you know eddie van halen's studio yeah. and there was even like that they were supposed to go on tour with Van Halen for, uh, I guess what Van Halen album would have been out then? Was it a uh, for on you know for unlawful carnal knowledge maybe? Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, so yeah, it was a big thing that they uh, they recorded it. I'm pretty sure it was at fifty one fifty, and uh, that they were supposed to do. I heard, you know, that Van Halen tour and for whatever reason it didn't happen. But uh yeah, they were another one, you know, that came late eighties, early nineties, Hollywood band, and mm. they were called Young Guns before. And uh you know, I, I think their sound kind of, you know I, I even wanted to say I read <clears throat> when they got signed was um it was the label that made him change the name or wanted him to change the name. 
because mm-hmm. um, that's the, the the reason why I think they even went from young to wild side. I think so. But yeah, another album just came out too late, man. Yeah, see, it's funny yeah, because definitely. when um I was I was at work the other day um just listening to music and they came on and I was like my album of the week. You know, we talked about it before, but you know. Figure here we go more into detail on it, but um, when it came out, like I said, I didn't really get into them. I like that. I like the single that they had. Um, but it was all it was all like, man, this sounds too eighties. You know, it sounds dated. But if you listen to it now, it doesn't sound dated. You know what I mean? Like it's I, yeah, yeah. Like it's it sounds good, man. You know, like um, it just during that time, you know, transitioning into different genres, and you know, the scene was dying, and it's like it's. You know, and uh, I'm glad I got to see him, even though I wasn't that big into him at that point. But yeah. Yeah, I think I've watched that YouTube show you, you talked about from the Alros, and it looked like it was a good show. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was fun. Yeah. Anything else on that? No, not that. I, well, I do know. Um, the guitar player Brent Woods, Wood or Woods, I'm. Uh, he was the lead guitar player in that band. Has been playing in Sebastian Bach's band. Oh, really? For a while. For a while, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's kind of made sense how you know he would have ended up, you know, because like I said, they they were Skid Rowish. I agree. Yeah. Um. Like, you know, the L.A. version of Skid Row, you know, or the West Coast version of Skid Row. So like they were considered like a, like a hair band or whatever. But yeah, I thought, I thought they were like talented. though, man. they they were good musicians, good vocals. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like over the top cheesy like a lot of them were. You know, what I mean, they no. maybe Young Guns was. But yeah, um, when it became Wild Side. Yeah. And that dude's vocals are legit. man. he's a oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. vocalist singer and like yeah. I said those dudes could play too mm. yeah they could play yeah yeah like Latin Sin man it's like it's it's mellow up parts then it gets heavy I mean it's mm-hmm. so many transitions in it it's such a good song man that's, pr- that's probably my favorite song on that album. yep I, th- I remember that clock strikes one being pretty yeah. good too yeah yeah me too that's why I had that in my um one of my favorite songs too. Like I listened the other day and I was going through and I'm like, man, this song's so good. So this song's so good too. But like it's good all the way through. Their songs is some songs better than others, but it's every song yeah. is good. Yeah. Yeah, good pick, man. Right on. These are all, you know, I mean, I'm glad you pick shit like that and talking about stuff that I don't think a whole lot of people, you know, are even talking about anymore. And hopefully, you know, people watch this, you know, bringing stuff up like that. I, I hope, it, you know, people kind of get out of like, oh, shit, I'm going to go check that out. You know, like mm. it's been, you know, someone might go, damn, it's been since 92 since I've heard that, you know, I want to go check it out. You know, same thing with like Four Horsemen last week. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll continue doing this segment. This is fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, anything else? No, well, Chakazulu's tomorrow, maybe. Sure. Yeah, you can stop yeah. by. Yeah, yeah. It's Friday night. Be Friday night tomorrow. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah. as long as it's not raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right on. All right. All right. Five and out. Thanks for watching. Five and out. <laughs>